So this is part three of the digestive system review. Part one uh, was structure function, the uh, Mr. Mann diagram. Part two was looking at the enzymes. And part three, very specific topic, looking at how our blood sugar is regulated uh, with the help of both the liver and the pancreas. So uh, more of an understanding and application question. It also has some implications into our um, circulatory system. So let's go. First thing that we need to understand uh, is what we're talking about when we talk about homo homeostasis. So I like this diagram because uh, this is what's going on all the time in our body without us even knowing it. So inside of us, our brain, our nerves, uh, and our glands are all working together so that we maintain balance. And what do we mean by balance? Well, in the picture, obviously, it's balancing on this little uh, end here. And when we slip, we jostle around to get back up and stand up straight again. But in our body, we have some windows, some conditions that we have to maintain. So our body temperature might go up a little bit. We might go for a run and get a little hot. Uh, but our body's going to work to bring it back down to 37. And we might go out in the winter in the snow and get a little cold. But again, our body's going to work under the coordination of our brain, not brains, we only have one, and our uh, nerves and our hormones to maintain this balance. This balance, right, is what keeps us alive, maintains our vitality and our health. So in this uh, story, we're going to be talking about two hormones. We're going to be talking about the hormone insulin and the hormone glucagon. And these are the hormones that are coming out of the pancreas. And any gland that makes hormones and releases them, we can call, give the name, endocrine gland. And we want to understand that hormones are molecules, as we're seeing in this diagram. So this, if, if this was a cell in the pancreas, the insulin, let's use that example, would leave the cell, it would travel in the bloodstream. So tying this to circulation, dissolved in the blood plasma, in the liquid portion of the blood, and it would have a target. So in the case of insulin, the target would be the liver, right? However, what we need to get, we need to understand that this these hormones are going to target the cells of the liver. The whole liver in itself, the whole big organ isn't targeted. The target is going to be cells. And then this hormone will bind to a uh, receptor on the surface of the cell and cause the cell to respond, have a response. That is working to maintain balance, homeostasis. So uh, hormones are chemical messengers that travel in the bloodstream. In this case, the other thing that we need to know is that uh, the liver is going to store glucose as glycogen. We remember glycogen is a polysaccharide, a highly branched, large macromolecule that we make from the molecule that we absorbed into our bloodstream, glucose. Uh, the blood flow through the liver, this is a really important and sometimes tricky uh, topic for students, from the small intestine. So if this is the SI here, there is a blood vessel that connects, we're seeing it here, the small intestine to the liver. We call this the hepatic portal vein. So portal is the name of a vein that ends into... Uh, capillary beds. On the other side of the liver, carrying blood away from the liver, is the hepatic vein, and this would connect to the inferior vena cava on the other side. So the hepatic portal vein would transport glucose 
after a meal uh, towards the liver. The liver would take up the excess glucose and it would turn the glucose into glycogen. That means in the hepatic vein, after a meal, our blood glucose would be lower. And the reverse would be true then. Between meals, our blood glucose might drop and it would be lower in the portal vein. And then the liver would break down glycogen, release glucose into the bloodstream, and this would bring our blood glucose back up on the hepatic vein. Uh, so overall, the big picture of this story, this is an example of our body maintaining balance, homeostasis. We said normal blood sugar runs around there. We don't have to uh, be obsessed with this number, but that is what balance is. When our blood sugar goes above this number, the pancreas is going to release into our bloodstream insulin. Insulin will target the liver to uptake excess glucose. That means the liver is going to synthesize it into the polysaccharide glycogen. When blood glucose falls, then the pancreas is going to make glucagon. Glucagon will target the liver again, but in this case, when we have low blood sugar, we're going to release glucose back into the bloodstream. So that concludes.